morning. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a shell border around your blanket and how the shell border you can use different stitches around them to give you different effects like this little collar on the dress that's really really cute I didn't finish it off with the green because I thought it just looked lovely as it was this headband turned out beautiful and the little boots but firstly I'm going to show you how to border off a blanket with the merino white four triple crochets in one stitch so we've got one triple two triple three triple four triple and that's your first shell so it's as simple as that with the green shells I used three double crochet in one stitch, skipped a stitch, then three double crochets in the next stitch, skipped a stitch. So now I need to use the gap between the shell shape to create my next shell border. So we're going to go into the next gap do another four one two three four triple crochets and again one two four triple crochets now you could finish this shell shape all the way around the blanket and then stop there or you can continue and make more different shapes or stitches colors to make the blanket bigger more interesting the blanket is really down to um, what you need it for this one is being made for a newborn baby but I've made them as big as a double bed and they are so practical they clean up lovely they're really warm they're breathable and to to use something that you've created is just beautiful my grandsons love their blankets I love my blanket my husband loves his blankets in the winter especially now with the energy prices going up you should really go by yourself some balls of wool with your favourite colour and start making yourself some beautiful warm creations. Now on the corner, we just follow the same pattern we've been doing which is just four triple crochets in each gap one two three four keep working around the blanket most of my creations i don't follow a pattern i just create on look and i love it you've got a basic size which is the diameter of the toy to follow and you can kind of follow the right length or the right size height of the boots you would like and then just add to it like these flowers I just added them when I was finished and they look really cute. The scarf, I just made that after I'd finished her as well and it just looks gorgeous. So, happy crocheting. Thanks for watching.